My name is Dale Ray Smith, and I'd like to give a tribute to a friend and a brother, Sergeant Police Officer Matthew Douglas Gooden, who passed away in 2010. And I want to tell the world how he came into my life. During my drug and alcohol addiction, I was also homeless during my darkest days when I met Officer Matt. And I can remember as I struggled with crack addiction for over 20 years, Officer Matthew was there to encourage me to get up and seek help to get clean. But he'd also bought me food, clothing, a pair of his own police boots, and a warm blanket when I slept in that dark alley. And although those boots were too big for me, he gave me a couple of pair of socks to put inside the boots to make them fit. I'd also like people to know that Officer Matt encouraged me every day for the time that he was on duty. And he was more than just a friend. He was a true brother. Many times he reminded me that Dale Ray, life is full of struggles, but it's what we do with those struggles that will determine our outcome. And I didn't understand what he meant at the time by that statement. But as I look back now with some clarity, I do understand today. I've had some real heroes that have come along and gave me that encouragement to pick myself up by the bootstraps, like my attorney and friend, Brian Peterson, who defended me on numerous occasions free of charge when I was out there robbing and stealing, breaking the law to feed my drug habit. But Officer Matt was a special person because he never gave up on me. He was strong in mind and spirit he was a very quiet, even tempered, and a very humble person, and was just a, a wonderful human being all around. And I loved him, and of course I miss him today so very much. And I hope this tribute to him will encourage others to believe that all police officers aren't bad people. And as I sit here giving this tribute to this special person, I glance down at his photo and I think to myself, what a wonderful smile he had and the gentleness in his eyes. And just the thought of him not being in this physical realm anymore, it brings tears to my eyes. He left a powerful impact on my life. And today, I do give my best to give back to society in a positive way. There are too many times we wait until a friend even a family member has died to tell the world what a wonderful person that they were. And I can honestly say that this police officer taught me what it really means to be a true friend who stands by you through the thick and thin. And I gotta tell you that Matt did that for me. And I realize now that it's risky for a police officer to personally get involved with, with a person that was a crack at it. But as I look back now, and realize that he just wanted to make a difference in the world and realizing at the same time that I could fail him. But here I am today with 11 years clean and sober. And some successes are applauded during a person's life, others after death. And I never really got that chance to say thank you to him for helping save my life. And I do want the world to know that even in this dark and troubled world that we live in, personally, I've grown as a person. And like Officer Matthew, I want to reach out to give others hope and to tell others with willpower and determination, and of course, that higher power, you could make it. You could make things happen in your life. It was his faithfulness that I remember the most about him in the little things especially loving a difficult person like me. I never forget the tough love that he showed me and at the time it was what I needed. He also kept reminding me that, Dale Ray, you deserve a better life, man. And somehow when he said it, I knew he meant it. 
And today I am a life coach and a mentor to many out there who's struggling with addictions or even other issues that they go through. And my passion comes from what Matt taught me. And I guess, guess I can say today that he was my mentor. My question is, how do we adequately honor someone who helps save your life from destruction or even death? And I believe that Matt would say to me today, the test of a great mentor is how those he influenced carry on in his presence. Thank you, sir, for being the wind beneath my wing. I love you and I miss you. I'll see you again, man. Godspeed and God bless you. Oh, boy, yeah. You still proud of me, though? Of course. I'm going to keep on changing, y'all. I'm going to keep on evolving. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And that's going to be my legacy.